All right, time to remove the oil from the lower unit. There's two things you need to find, the bottom screw and the top screw. These are where you put the oil in and drain the oil from, if you will. So we'll show you how to do this. All right, what first thing I wanna do is break this uh, drain plug loose. You wanna have a big screwdriver because it should be sealed tight. You wanna crack that loose like that. And then up on the oil level screw, make sure you get that loose as well. If you're using a long shaft motor like this, it's easier to do it when it's up in your face. Now trim it down and we can complete the process of changing the lower unit oil. So you take that off, slowly release it so you can get to it with your fingers. Now what I do is typically slowly take that off and you'll see the oil starting to drip out. There's a seal here you wanna make sure is in good condition. Uh, and I always set that off to the side next to the screwdriver. Now, the oil level screw, you wanna remove that from the top because that kind of breaks the vacuum. So we're gonna remove that, okay? And you can see how the oil starts to drain at a, at a fast rate. There's some different gear lube pumps that you can get designed to go into the uh, gear lube oil. There's an attachment that goes to the uh, drain plug and it's as simple as pumping the oil into the lower unit and waiting to drain out on the top so you know you're at the right level. All right, now we got that nice and tight. The next thing to do is install the pump into the can of oil. Got that secure. Okay. Now what we'll do is slide the oil tray back underneath. We'll start the pumping process. And what's nice with the oil is you can see that it's physically going in to the lower unit. And as you pump the oil, what you want to pay attention to is the top oil level port. That's where the oil will come out once you've reached maximum capacity of oil in the lower unit. There it is, coming out the top there, you can see it. So we're going along here when it's coming out like that. And typically I just like to add a little pressure to it. So I got oil coming out. And then we'll affix the uh, oil level plug. You want to make sure your lower unit is all the way down. So I put that on there. Okay. Take the screwdriver. Tighten that back up nice and firm. And what happens there, it kind of creates a suction with the oil that's down below so it won't drain out when you take the plug off. that there, cover that up, like this, okay, now that we've kind of cleaned it off, Take your screwdriver and then put it back in there. Get that baby nice and tight. There you go. Changing the lower unit oil on the kicker motor is now complete. An easy process.